Nation reflects on the life and legacy of Celeste Bryant Bird on this, the first anniversary of his death. Law enforcers make another cannabis seizure. Fire victims in Green Bay receive well-needed assistance as new school year beckons. And reigning groovy monarch makes another pitch to preserve the nation's culture. Those are the top stories at 7. The news in detail starts now. The local evening news is brought to you by Nagico, local agents, Bryson's Insurance. You're in tune with the ABS Evening News. Thank you so much for having joined us. Good evening. I'm Garfield Burford. Good evening. I'm Cheryl Mbiza. Thank you for joining us. We begin with The Nation is reflecting on the life and legacy of the late father, the late Sir Blister Bryant Bird, on this, the first anniversary of his death. That's right, Sherilyn, the national hero and former prime minister passed away peacefully at home at the age of 83 on the morning of August 9 last year. And we look back at the colossal loss for the nation through the reflections of those who knew him best. Antigua and Grampita mourns the loss of one of its finest sons, Celeste Bryant Bird. It was the great playwright William Shakespeare who said, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts. Celeste Bryant Bird is remembered and revered for playing his many parts with distinction. Orator. Freedom is not license to do what you like. Freedom is an opportunity for responsibility to develop. And we therefore need as a group of people, wherever we may find ourselves, to understand that we have a duty to our country. Political powerhouse. Already the people of our country know within their hearts that our nation is safe and well with labor. Safe and well with labor in anywhere. Visionary statesman. We are going to make sure that at the end of the five-year period, Antigua and Barbuda, once we remove its external debt and get it restructured, our economy will be the best in the whole Eastern Caribbean. And one of the leading thinkers of his generation. I'm sold on Antigua and Barbuda becoming an economic powerhouse country. I'm sold on Antigua and Barbuda experiencing vigorous economic growth without inflation. Mr. Speaker, I am sold on the goal of providing the highest quality of life for every citizen and resident of Antigua and Barbuda. A mover and a shaker, um, whereas my grandfather is known as the father of the nation, I see my father as father of the modern Antigua and Barbuda in that his vision and mission. We're still seeing it today. Throughout my life, his words, experiences, and successes became a driver for me to pursue excellence in my life. I could not have asked for a better role model to help me chart my course as I continue in the corporate America world. Although my dad may never have said it out loud often enough, I know that he was truly proud of his children and the way we have all grown up. He showed strength and love right up until his last days with us. He was loved. He was a cool guy. He'd done a lot for me, for the country, for all of us. We're not going to see his like ever again. A good man. We go through a period when we... Um, when we would say that we have lost some luster, some of the shine, mm -hmm. but the truth is, as we reflect on the life of this great man, it will re-energize us, and that is the hope I have. Lester Bird came, he fought, and he conquered. He made his contribution. Yeah, and, he, right. and, and he stand tall amongst all of us in this country, both physically 
a metaphorically. That's the word stand on. I'm sad my life is dead. My friend is gone. And I want my legend to be that I transformed the economy of Antigua and Barbuda. We diversified it, and nobody can tell you that together with Ivan Beginni, we did not develop the top tourism plant in the organization of Eastern Caribbean State. Of course, uh, you can join us right after the evening news. Of course, this being the anniversary of the death of Celeste Brown Bird, right after the evening news, we'll be giving you the rebroadcast, the encore presentation of Celeste Bird, the man and his mission. Do join us for that at 8 o'clock. In other news now, the Police and Customs Department continue to crack down on drug trafficking in this country with another seizure at the General Post Office. 22 pounds of cannabis was seized in a, in a cardboard box today. The cannabis, concealed in 20 vacuum-sealed packages, has an estimated street value of $132,000. The contraband was taken to the police headquarters as investigations continue. We'll keep across the story and keep you updated as those investigations continue. Sherilyn? And a corporate citizen has brought some relief to the Green Bay Fire of Victims. Happy Kids made a timely donation to the many individuals who lost everything in the July 25 fire. The donation comes at an opportune time as the families prepare for the start of the new academic year. Each family, the first of whom was Sonia James, received $1,000 and back to school supplies. I want to say thanks very much for what you have done for us. Irma Wright, a diabetic who had been a resident in Green Bay for over 40 years and recently had her leg amputated, was next to benefit from this goodwill gesture. This is a gift for you, a little small gift of little cash for you to use at the moment. And also we send some school bag for whoever needs at your home. Wright was very appreciative. Thanks again for everything you have done for me. I just hope that I can rebuild my house so my grandson can see me and come again. I miss him so much because of the fire. I didn't see him. For some, the fire had obviously not only destroyed material things, but family bonds as well. Telica Hill received backpacks and school supplies for her nine-year-old daughter and 12-year-old son, as well as the cash component. Another fire victim, Rohan White, is the father of two sons who had not even occupied his home for a month before the fire. White had also purchased furniture and appliances he lost in the blaze. The father, thanks to everybody. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Ellie. Another fire victim, Mr. Joseph, was a lone occupant of his home. <laughs> Mr. Joseph, this is $1,000 in cash for you to start, build your life, and I hope and I wish you all the best in the future. I want to thank you for this, and this is a great opportunity for me to start over. Thank you again. Arrangements will be made to present the tokens to fire victim Mr. Smith, who wasn't present. Saud, who is considered family, had the same sentiments, noting the gesture was from his heart. I'm not a just a friend, I'm a family. They're more than family. When I come to this country 35 years ago, I used to go around by their house, and with my let us suitcase to sell. Today I own a store, so it's not a donation. I just want you all to know, this is not donation. This is from the bottom of my heart. It is hoped the tokens will go a long way in assisting the families to get back to normal. Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News. Meanwhile, the ch uh, chair of the Female Parliamentary Caucus, Senator Gail Christian, was very pleased to be a part of the goodwill gesture. You know that it isn't easy to get a child ready for school. And certainly those who have lost everything will need every bit of help that they can get to get those children ready for school. The families will also soon be provided with uniform grants. Senator Christian highlights other assistance to come for the fire victims. I'm very certain that in short order, we will be able to help them rebuild um, their lives. And by that, I mean the infrastructure. Senator Christian also gives thanks to other donors, including the Women Parliamentary Caucus, Similia Inc., and Cool and Smooth. She encourages others to also give as well. We were taught, even around this period, by Foster Cornelius, deceased, 
that each one should teach one love. And what better way to teach love and to show love than helping your brother and sister when they are in need. Now, men in this country are set to benefit as a bank donates to the effort to tackle prostate cancer. For giving me this. <laughs> 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 Said, sir, because CIBC First Caribbean International Bank has donated $5,000 to the prostate cancer screening put on annually by Dr. Dwayne Thwaites and the Lions Club. While the health efforts targeted uh, men over 40 is scheduled for this Saturday starting at 8 a.m. at the Lions Den. Cancer affects so many persons in so many different facets of their lives. So we are proud to be supporting anything that will reduce that trauma. It's better to put a finger in than to put your foot in the grave, and we must always remember that. Well, there is a pre-registration for this year's staging. This is the 14th year the prostate cancer screening is being held. It was last hosted in 2019 and saw almost 1,000 men come out for the potentially life-saving checkup. The event was put off for two years because, of course, of the COVID-19 pandemic. There is a $25 registration fee. So this... Coming up this Saturday morning. Sherilyn? Gen Z is suffering from a plague of misinformation. The view has been expressed by founder of the Nolan Hugh Foundation, Regis Burton. Now we're in the world of misinformation. So there's so much information that they're now distracted. Mm. So what this generation needs to do is to how do we manage, what are they focusing on? And I think if we can look at what they're focusing on, try to alter it or just to give it a better balance. I think then we will be reaping more rewards. Burton's Foundation will be hosting a Youth Empowerment Day on August 20 to enlighten young people between 16 and 25 with the right information to help the transition from adolescence to adulthood. There are some life things that you should know. So we want to expose these young individuals to what is the process to acquiring land. You know, if I want a driver's license, how do I get a driver's license? What do I have to do? If I want to register a business, um, what is the, the steps to take to register a business? Registration ends midnight August 17 and costs only $50. Interested youth should visit www.nolanhugh.com for details. Still a coming this news cast. More of the national stories that we're following closely for you here on the ABS Evening News, including this one. Miss Culture, it's the new stage name Claudette C.P. Peters wants to be known by. We'll explain why she has chosen that sobriquet. And later, details unveiled about Police Week 2022. We'll tell you about the pre-events and also the week of activities. Coming up on the ABS Evening News, on air and online. Do stay with us, please. At Nagico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like your boat when you're at sea and you get away from everything. Your home and the security of your daughter's things. And the car that you've had for too long. But after all these years, you just can't let go. At Nagico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. You ready for the best summer ever? Of course, we're gonna live it up all summer with Flow, giving you double data, unlimited WhatsApp and Facebook in your seven or 30 day prepaid plan. Keep the vibes going wherever you go as you stay connected on your favorite app. Enjoy 20 gigs of double data, unlimited WhatsApp and Facebook, plus 800 anywhere local minutes and SMS in a 30-day plan for just $105. Dial star 129 pound to activate. Conditions apply.
Get the funds you need now, just in time for back to school with Courts Ready Cash. Plus, if you apply before October 3rd, you will be entered for a chance to win your loan free. That's right, when you take a loan for school expenses from Courts Ready Cash, you could be the lucky winner of up to $10,000 of your loan amount. Also, when you visit us during the month of August, you may receive free gifts like back to school essentials, gift vouchers, Courts Cash, Radio Shack coupons, and much more. Visit your nearest courts or ready cash location or apply online at readyfinancecaribbean.com. Conditions apply. Courts ready cash. We are ready when you are. Offer ends October 3rd. Vincent, I'm coming on there tomorrow. I hope you get the AC started out now. Did I sell AC? You mean LL supplies? Yes, Jack. They move. Oh, great, Scott. Where they gone now? Don't worry, they're not too far. They just right up the road before Kennedy. LL Supply Limited, your number one supplier for air conditioning and refrigeration parts, has now moved to a fresh and convenient location in order to serve you better. Visit us on Utility Drive, Casada Garden, or call 5626562. LL Supply Limited, we stock quality parts. Welcome back. Reigning groovy Soka Monarch Claudette C.P. Peters says she now prefers the name Miss Culture. During her groovy monarch during her groovy monarch presentation of the song Stressless, the ten-time monarch presented performance advocating a return of culture to the forefront of carnival. Peters says the new stage name stems from a new renewed desire to revive culture in Antigua and Barbuda, following what she hails a haunting from the ancestors. She outlines her vision. This is something that is not Claudette Peters bound alone. It has to be each and every one of us because we all have the same feeling that we feel like culture is going down the drain. The, the, the different elements and, and costumes and all of these things, we're not seeing them enough. She intends to enlist the support of other Antiguans and Barbudans. I'm just going to be beckoning to the diasporas. It could be a guitar, could it be a yarn or, 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 or um, raw material that our craft department would be able to, you know, make up beautiful hats and bags and all of that. And we need to support them too. Not only is now, preparations are in high gear for the fifth staging of Police Week, which will be held from September 4 to 11. The activities will be held under the theme, Overcoming the Challenges Together. Now, events will be staged as a precursor to the week, starting with a hike on Saturday, the 20th of August. This is what police spokesman, Inspector Frankie Thomas, told us this morning. Also, the 24th of uh, August, we'll have the a netball competition. This will be at YMCA at 6 p.m. Uh, we will be also having a road race on the 28th, uh, road race fitness walk slash fitness walk. Well, a fitness jam on the 26th of August will also be a part of these pre-events. The week will officially start with uh, the Police Queen Show on the 3rd of September. Five female police officers representing various departments in the force will vie for the title of Miss Police Queen 2022 at the Antigua Recreation Grounds at 8 p.m. Inspector Thomas says over the past two years, the Police Week celebration was done differently due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But this year's celebration will be grand and more community-based. Uh, what we did over the past two years, we uh, split ourselves into small uh, groups and went to various churches. This time we intend to have a divine church service at the Sweet Wesleyan Holiness Church. This will start at 9 a.m. Well, the week of activities will also include a visit to the sick and shut-ins and the anticipated Calypso show on September 7. The Veterans Cocktail will be held at Sir Wright of George Police Academy at 5 p.m. on Thursday, the 8th of September. So Police Week activities upcoming. When we come back from this break, we'll turn our attention to news overseas. One of those stories that we're following closely for you comes to us from Barbados because the Alliance owners of public transport appealing to the Mia Motley government for relief from spiraling fuel prices. We'll tell you more. 
and farther afield we'll have the latest on the raid on Donald Trump's Florida home. Stay tuned. Hetty Dental Clinic offers you reasonable